James Wade had a devastating end to his 2012 World Championship campaign when he lost 6-5 to Adrian Liss in the semis despite being 5-1 up. He returned the following year and his run didn't get off to the best start. He was drawn against Pete Hudson in the first round and during his walk-on for this game, he chose to walk behind the dancers who were quickly shaking their arms around in the tune of his walk-on song. As he passed the second dancer, he was hit in the nether region. He made his pain clear to see and even pointed at the dancer. It didn't affect him too much though as he went on to secure a whitewash win. Kevin Garcia is an English player who made his first PDC appearance at Q School back in 2016 where he only won three games over the four days and failed to win a card. He spent the rest of that year playing in six of the 16 Challenge Tour events across which he only managed to win a singular game. He returned to Q School at the start of 2017 where he ran on a run to the last 32 on the third day but this was still not enough for a card and he ended up finishing 99th on the order of merit. Q School 2018 was also hard for him and he failed to win a card on his third attempt. At Q School in 2019, he lost in the first round on three of the four days, but on one of them, he went on a run to the last 16. He also went on a run to the semi-final of the eighth Challenge Tour event, with his good performances at the start of this year, getting him a spot in the UK qualifier for many of the European Tour events. At the Czech Open qualifier, he beat Eddie Dutzen and Cameron Menzies to secure his European Tour and PDC stage debuts. His improvement had been as a result of lots of practice. At the Czech Open, he was drawn against Jermaine Watamena and during his final practice for ahead of the game, he had a bounce out, which was a sign of things to come. In his first official throw of the game, Garcia's final dart also bounced out, with the darts that stayed in the board looking like their points hardly went in. Watamina ended up winning that leg. Towards the end of the second leg, Garcia had his second and third bounce outs, one of which was clearly out of the treble 20 bed, allowing Watamina to break the throw. Garcia's fourth and fifth bounce outs of the game came in the third leg, which Watamina won to go halfway towards the win. He had two bounce outs in one visit towards the start of the fourth leg, which Watamina won to break through again. He had a bounce out from the treble 19 at the start of the fifth leg, which also saw him have a dart fall out of the treble 20, allowing Watamina to go one leg away from the win. The sixth leg saw him have a dart fall out of the treble 18, as well as one out of the 20 bed. He missed darts to take that leg, allowing Watamina to win it and the game 6-0. In total, Garcia had 11 bounce outs from 90 darts thrown, meaning that he lost 12% of his scores. This was a record number of bounce outs in any European Tour game. A similar situation happened to Keegan Brown during his first game at the 2015 Grand Slam, but it was arguably more frustrating than Garcia's as he had more fallouts rather than bounce outs. In the first leg of his game against Mark Webster, he had a dart hit the wire of the 25, leading to a normal bounce out. He went 2-0 down early on, but looked to start the third leg well, with his first two darts landing and briefly settling in the treble 20. However, these darts both slipped and fell out of the board before he released the third dart. He showed his frustration, but composed himself and hit a treble 20 with his third dart. Later on in that same leg, he had two more darts going the treble 20 at the start of the visit before they both fell out again. Brown ended up losing that leg after having four darts fall out of the treble 20. Keegan sharpened or changed his points at the start of the fourth leg but this failed to help as he had a dart fall out of the 17th segment. He did go on to win that leg and he thanked the heavens. Arguably, his most frustrating moment of the match came in the next leg where he began a visit with two treble twenties and whilst he threw his last dart, one of them fell out. The third dart landed in the 60 bed and the referee began to call 120, but as Brown approached the board, another dart slipped out, meaning he scored just 60. Webster won that leg to go one away,
before Brown made it 4-2 in a sixth leg, which included another treble 20 fallout. Brown went on to lose 5-3, and he was knocked out of the group, with that loss against Webster being decisive. He had nine bounce outs in the game. Joe Cullen faced Gary Anderson in an unbelievable game at the 2018 World Match Play, where the Flying Scotsman hit a nine data in the third leg. This did not fluster Cullen, who played very well and had match darts at 15-14. Cullen hit treble 17 to get two darts a double from 87. He came inside of the double 18 and then aimed at double 9, which he missed on the outside. Following this miss, Cullen pointed at something in the air. Anderson went on to win that leg and the match, and following the end, Sky Sports broadcast videos showing a fly in Cullen's eyeline when he was throwing at the double. He spoke about this in his interview. It was trouble 17, I was covered it in double 18, and uh, obviously went inside, but a fly like flew across right as, as I was throwing for double nine, but I'm not saying I would have hit it, it's irrelevant now, but it must have been a Scotsman, uh, the fly, but um, uh, I, I'm good. Wayne Mardle also spoke about it. I feel for him because if it put, it, if it put him off, then, then I really do think that that, and you can be put off so easily when you're concentrating, you, you're looking at it and something that is not meant to be there, is there in your eye line. Riley's qualifier Paul Hogan faced Gary Anderson in the third round of the 2017 UK Open. The game was very close throughout, with the players tied at 5-0, and eventually 9-0 after Hogan missed a match start at double 16 from 1-3-1. This meant that the game went to a sudden death decider and Hogan had the throw. He had a shot at the ball for the match in this leg, which he narrowly missed. Anderson then stepped back up, needing 84, and he hit single 20 and single 14 to set up the ball. His dart clearly struck the inner ball, which would have won him the game, but it was rejected from the board and immediately bounced out despite not even hitting a wire. Hogan then took out 25 to win. Most of the incidents featured in this video have been bounce outs which you could blame either on the player's technique or the board. Let me know in the comments down below if you think we've seen less of these incidents since the PDC began using Winmore boards.